Hello and welcome to my tutorial to explain you quickly how to use Gurry Smart Pass Processing uh, which you can directly access in game without using Photoshop and all of that fancy expensive programs. Alright so as you can see I already posed a few characters that you know I'll do probably a posing tutorial later on but right now we're just going to focus on the pass processing. So first thing you're going to do is pick an angle. So you're going to pick the camera weapon, which is located on the sixth slot. And uh, when you have got it equipped, you're going to press the right mouse and you should be able to zoom in on tilt the camera and all of that shit. So okay, uh, you're going to do that at the end of your posing so you can basically pick the best angle depending on what you've done. So here I'm going to include all of the scenes so we can see everyone. Here seems like a good angle. Always remember to zoom in the camera because like usually it's just shit when you're not doing it. So yeah, here seems like a good angle. We can see pretty much everyone. It's pretty zoomed in so it's perfect. So now you're going to press Q to go to your in-game menu and you're picking the camera tool, camera's tool, it's in render, you think once, then to ensure it doesn't move, you're going to select the weld tool, and the weld is the world, like this. So now you pick the camera again, and you press the button you binded, the key you binded, to actually get the camera. So as you can see, you can switch like really easily and see if it changes. So first, the lightning of this picture is like, pretty boring it's okay of course but not perfect so we're just going to pick the lamps tool which is in um, oh god I don't remember, remember myself in construction you get the lamps tool and uh, basically what you're going to do is in this color thingy you can pick the color you want over there but we won't need it we're just going to use like a regular white lamp so Basically, the more white it is, the more bright it will be. As you can see, like, it's, well, it's not very good looking because it's way too bright. So we're going to pick, like, in the middle over there. And make so the lamp is brightening up the whole scene. As you can see, it's doing dynamic shadows. Well, you will only see it if you have, like, a good computer or something, but... Uh, relatively all of the recent computers will handle this. So we've got dynamic shadows which looks very good on some of the models. It will help your scene look more high resolution and shit. Now one lamp is good but I'd suggest you put more lamps to actually get more nice shadings on the characters um, and all you know and brighten up some more the scene. So we're going to change a bit lightning, like we're going to make a yellowish lamp from here. Since it's off screen, nobody will really notice that there's actually no lamp over there. So there you go. Lewis has a nice, nice yellow lamp coming from here and there's no reason Alice wouldn't have that as well. So here you go, you got two yellow lamps. Uh, we got nice Francis being high and shit. And it looks actually much better. Alright, so now we're just going to go uh, to in-game menu again and you're pressing the post processing tab. You've got the bloom and the color mod. Those are the two we're going to use, like, right now. D don't even try to touch Harpen or Morph or Sobble. It's just absolute shit and you will never need it, right? Alright, uh, so we're going to start with the color mod, which is basically the most important. So I already tweaked a, it a bit, so I got a lot of presets, I'll probably put them down in the video description so you can download them. Um, Alright, so let's get back to camera, so we can like make it in game. So you're going to press C to get the contest menu, and you can tweak the color mod like live. So I'd suggest you tone down the brightness a bit, like right now we've got this, and up the contrast. It's not much, but it will help get your picture like much 
better looking overall. You've got some nicer colors and it's very dark because uh, the room itself is very dark. Okay, so the color multiplier um, slider is basically the colors. If you put it over there, it's going to be extremely shit looking. If you put it over there, it's really entirely black and white. So we're just going to put it like around uh, 0.80, which looks pretty good. And here we go. You should have it everything done. Uh, now you got some color thingy, which you can switch if you want to. You can pick the color you want, but I don't know. Just don't use it if you don't really know how to. All right, so now we got that white window and that lamp that is, they are good looking, but we would like to make it like more like a lamp, you know, like it's kind of like that. So that's the purpose of the bloom. You're going to select it and see two sliders you're going to use is the number of passes, which is over there, which basically makes you bloom like a wrapping or absolutely inexistent. So I'd suggest you pick here uh, a slider like this at seven, which is pretty good. And the color multiplier is like, you know, the more, the more on the right, the more colors you will have, the more on the left, the less. So just keep it to one. It looks actually good. Now we're going to switch to the fog. That's in options. That you won't really use that like all the time, but sometimes it will be useful. So you press fog override, which is there. And uh, you can see that behind the window we have the fog. And we're going to use it to actually make it bloomy, so we don't see what's behind the window. So to do that, you're just going to make your fog like totally white. And put the fog and uh, slider to an appropriate a value so you don't get your high completely raped but you can still see the bloom that sounds pretty good so now uh, you've got pretty much everything done and um, I'm just going to show you a last thing which works only on a few maps but that's really an amazing tool that's like having an in-game Photoshop so we're going to go to your console and you're going to write down color correction UI is in game and uh, you've got to check by default it's not enabled so yeah you have to check enabled so I'm not going to explain you how it works just telling you that it's there if you want to get more information about that you can look down on the um, valve wiki which has pretty much all the information you will need so I'm just going to include a preset that I've done myself so it will take a bit of time to load. Don't worry, you don't crash. All right. So I'm going to select this one, and you have to click like up there. So it looks it looks good, but it's like very too bright. So you're going to put the blending like over there. That's nice. So well, no need to explain you what it does actually. All right, so now you've got your picture lined up. You've got all the post processing you will pretty much need. You can use a lot of other things with our custom made tools like, um, uh, actually I'll just give you links to the description, but I'm not going to show them right there because you have to download them and shit. So now your average Garry's Mod user would just press the left key of the camera to get a picture done. Do not do that. Never, ever, ever. You're going to post processing. You're going to super doff. And you're clicking on open window. It's going to be very laggish. Don't worry. That's normal. Everybody gets that. So now that we got a camera, you can't. Uh, you could directly click on the characters to get the focus, but it doesn't work with camera, so you have to do it manually. So focus distance is as it means the distance of the focus like we're going to put it on helis right now it looks very good and uh, the more blur the sheer it will be so I suggest you tone down a bit the blur size once it's done you press render 
you will get a fancy effect showing that it's working and you just have to wait basically it's blurring everything around the focus and uh, the good point is that you get some free and uh, you get tried of the aliasing and all that shit and you get a focus which is much better looking alright so now that it's done the window should appear again you press save screenshot and there you go you got your picture done and everything set up so we'll see you again next time when I'm doing a posing tutorial if I'm not some kind of lazy bitch see ya and I hope you learned some things today